Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. My personal website, jaredpoland.com, is built using Squarespace, and I wouldn't use anything else if you're a photographer or a creative. It's simple, easy, affordable, kind of like me. I'm simple, easy, and affordable, and, well, I don't know coding, and you don't need to know coding either. To get a 14-day free trial without a credit card, go to squarespace.com slash photo. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, someone needs to tell Polaroid, formerly The Impossible Project, that they royally screwed up the printing on their latest One Step 2 instant camera. Everything's upside down. It's supposed to be like that. Oh, it is? Polaroid Originals has unveiled their new Stranger Things One Step 2 instant camera. So what makes this camera a Stranger Things edition camera? Not much. Steven, that is correct. Not much other than everything was printed upside down on the camera. I would have thought maybe the photos would have been reversed as well, but they're not. The camera takes both the classic 600 film as well as Polaroid Originals iType film. The camera also sports a built-in flash with Polaroid Originals website stating, with a flash developed by Hawkins National Laboratory, you can shoot with confidence knowing you'll capture perfectly sharp pictures in even the most challenging light. Yeah, I doubt that's gonna happen. There's even special edition film that features a random selection of Stranger Things border designs. There's eight designs in a pack, but if you want to collect all 16, you'll need to buy two packs. Is there a barb border? Barb's dead. What, Steven? You didn't yell spoilers! What the f You're fired. If you think this camera's for you, it's priced at $110, though it should have been priced at $111. The special edition film will run you 17 bucks for a pack of eight, which means each grainy, not sharp image will set you back $2.12. Do you think this is cool? By the way, if you'd like to purchase this Stranger Things I Shoot Raw Edition t-shirt, head on over to store.fronosphoto.com. Next up, there's only two guarantees in life. Death, taxes. Your grandmother hasn't paid her taxes in over a decade. And then I'm probably gonna wear an I Shoot Raw shirt every day. Well, fine, that's, that's three. In this story, we're gonna focus on the taxes part. Now, I know most people hate having to pay tax. <laughs> because of that, Many people have turned to buying online, where up until recently, no tax was collected. Thanks to a Supreme Court ruling last year, online retailers will soon have to start collecting local sales tax for the state the customer lives in, thus taking away the incentive of purchasing online. Amazon's been doing this now for the past couple of months. So the question is, will we all have to just accept the fact we'll have to pay taxes on all online purchases from here on out? That's why they pay the taxes, right? Actually, right. no. This week, B&H announced something new where they will refund all sales tax for all customers as long as you have their new credit card named Payboo. Payboo? You named your card Payboo? What is it, a ghost? ghost you know. Was B&H Pay taken or something? Payboo sounds like a credit card by pimps. Keep your Which, by the way, I think we have an old commercial from the 70s for Payboo. Low on cash? but still need to get your boo? Don't worry, use your pay boo card and pay for that shit later. But if you don't pay at the end of the month, I'm coming for you, mother If this sounds too good to be true, well, it's not. This is actually a real thing, and here's how it works. When you make a purchase from B&H online, in person, over the phone, which I don't know who still does that, using your PayBoo card, B&H will give you an instant reward for the amount of tax that's being collected. For example, you buy a $1,000 camera and tax is 90 bucks, you will pay only $1,000. Tax free. B&H will cover and submit the tax as long as you use your PayBoo card. Tax free. B &H B&H's CEO, Menasha Horowitz, said, B&H has always believed that if we treat people right, they will come back. As a word of warning, if you get one of these cards, the APR is 30%, which is most likely much higher than some of the credit cards in your wallet or your iPhone. So your tax savings might go out the window if you decide not to pay your balance off 
right away. As a rule of thumb, always pay off your balance if you're gonna buy something so that you don't get hit with all that interest. IRS can't touch one cent. Now I'd love to hear what you guys think about this down below. Oh, also include what you would have named the card. And finally, the Sony a7 III is outselling all Nikon and Canon full frame mirrorless cameras combined in Japan. Now that might not seem like a big deal, except for the fact that the Sony is over a year older than anything Nikon and Canon has to offer, and yet, it's still selling more. According to BCN in Japan in April, the a7 III held on to 42% of the market share, while Nikon and Canon's full frame mirrorless cameras combined for 35% of the market. On top of that, for some reason, people are still buying the a7 II, which accounts for 6% of the market. So what's causing the uptick in sales of the a7 III over what Nikon and Canon have to offer? In my opinion, people waited to see what Nikon and Canon would do before deciding to ultimately go with Sony. It's certainly going to be interesting to see who maintains the lead over the next five years. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where we'll leave it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.